like MVVM? And have you heard of .VVM? It's an open source framework for ASP.NET. It supports ASP.NET Core, classic ASP.NET, and it's incredibly easy to learn. Let me show you. The first thing you need to do is to download .VVM extension for Visual Studio. Go to marketplace.visualstudio.com and find .VVM for Visual Studio. When you select File and New Project, you will see new project templates. There is a new template called .VVM Web Application for .NET Core or for classic .NET Framework. Every .VVM application is just a normal ASP.NET application. .VVM is a NuGet package which gets installed in your project. MVVM stands for Model View View Model. And in .VVM, every page has two files. First is the view, which is just an HTML file. And the second is view model, which is a C-sharp class. Okay, let's write a simple calculator. So I will need two text boxes for entering the numbers and one field for result. So let's create number one and number two property in the view model of type int. And let's create another property for the result. Now we can create a function which will add the two numbers. Okay, so this is our view model. We have a state and we have our logic. So let's start with the view. I will create two text boxes. So let's have number one. And in .vvm you have uh, controls like text box. You can use a data binding. As you can see, we have IntelliSense for that. Let's create a second text box and let's create a result row where we would just print out the result. And now let's create a button which will call our calculate function so we will be able to sum these two numbers. Calculate, click, and here we don't use value, we will use command. So we have command binding here calculate. Okay, so that's it. This is our view. I can run this project. Okay, so now we see the result. So let's enter 10 and 20 in the text boxes. When I click the button, the calculate function will be called and the result will be set to 30, which will immediately appear in the page. Okay, what about adding third number, which would be optional? So let's create a property of type bool, hello number three, and let's create another property for number three. And since it's optional, it can be nullable. So let's update calculation logic. So if hello number three, let's add number three, or if it's null, let's use just zero. Let's adjust our UI, add another row where we place checkbox, hello number three, and checked will be bound to hello number three. Let's add another text box for the third number. So this is number three, this is also number three, and so let's use visible binding. And as you can see, I can apply visible on any HTML element in my page. So this will be visible only when the checkbox is checked. Run it again. And here's our page. So when I click hello number three, you can see that the field has appeared. How this magic works? .vvm uses knockout.js library to translate the bindings in JavaScript expressions. When you look at the source of the page, you can see that the text boxes were translated to input type text, and here's data bind syntax, which is part of knockout.js library. But with .vvm, you don't need to write any JavaScript. This is generated for you. Now you've seen how easy it was. Go to .vvm.com and download the free extension for Visual Studio 2017. And don't forget to check out our commercial products, bootstrap4.vvm and .vvm business pack. Thanks for watching.